Hi, and welcome to the Nutrition Diva podcast. I'm your host, Monica Reinagel, and today we're talking about tart cherry juice and its reputation as an arthritis cure. And stay tuned at the end of the show for another special appearance by hungry girl, Lisa Lillian, who has another kitchen hack to share that can help you get more vegetables into your day and at the same time, save a few calories. But first, dreaming of a beach vacation? Get away to the sugar white sands and turquoise waters of Panama City Beach, Florida. You'll discover endless family fun, heart pounding thrills, eco adventure, and romance. So make it memorable and make it yours at Panama City Beach, the real fun beach. Plan your escape today at visitpanamacitybeach.com. Vicky writes, I'd like to hear your take on drinking tart cherry juice. I've heard many times that it reduces inflammation and I have arthritis. And even though I don't have any pain or take any medications for it, reducing inflammation seems like a good idea. I started drinking about a cup a day, but then I quit when I read the label and realized how much sugar it has. Is it worth all that sugar to get the health benefits? Well, Vicky's right. Tart or sour cherry juice has developed quite a reputation as an arthritis cure, an anti-inflammatory agent, even a natural sleep aid. And there is some research on this to review with you, but let's start with a few basics. And first, what is the difference between sweet and sour or tart cherries? There are a couple of different varieties of cherries that are sold as tart or sour cherries, but Montmorency is the most common. They're lighter in color. They're sort of a bright red rather than the dark purple color of Bing cherries, which are the most common type of sweet cherry. And they are also, as the name suggests, somewhat lower in sugar. A cup of sweet cherries contains about 90 calories and 18 grams of naturally occurring sugar. And a cup of tart cherries provides just 50 calories and about 10 grams of sugar. But tart cherries are generally too tart just to eat out of hand as a fruit. You're much more likely to find them canned in some sort of sugar syrup or in the juice aisle next to the cranberry or the pomegranate juice. And then lately, thanks to their growing reputation as a health food, tart cherry extracts and powders are also showing up in the supplement aisle. Even though it's tart enough to put a pucker on your puss, eight ounces or 240 milliliters of unsweetened tart cherry juice still contains about 30 grams of sugar. As Vicky points out, that's a pretty hefty dose of sugar. And as with any fruit juice, although you are getting many of the nutrients, you're not getting the fiber that you'd get from eating the whole fruit. And this is why I generally recommend limiting your intake of fruit juice and eating whole fruit instead. But is there something special in tart cherries that makes the juice of this fruit particularly beneficial? Cherries, both sweet and tart, contain a variety of antioxidant compounds, including various flavonoids, carotenoids, and good old vitamin C. They're particularly rich in anthocyanins. This is a family of phytonutrients that are also found in berries, red cabbage, plums, onions, black and red rice, grapes, and famously red wine. Anthocyanins have been linked with a range of health benefits, everything from improved lung and brain function to reduced risk of heart disease and cancer. And human studies using tart cherry juice have also been linked to some benefits, including reduced oxidative stress, inflammation, and arthritis pain. In addition, there's quite a bit of research looking at the effect of tart cherry juice or concentrate on elite athletes. Results suggest that by reducing inflammation and oxidative stress, tart cherry products can help to eliminate post-workout muscle soreness. But are these benefits unique to cherries? I'm going to fill you in on that right after these words from our sponsors. Today's episode is supported by Snap Kitchen. Snap Kitchen makes healthy eating easy with fresh, chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. Meals are ready in about five minutes, and they start at just $5.99 per meal. This is healthy eating made easy, so you can just do you. Snap's chefs and dietitians create meals with well-sourced, high-quality ingredients. You never have to cook anything. Just heat and enjoy. And there's never any gluten, hormones, antibiotics, or artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors. I'm always impressed by how fresh the vegetables are. And I love the little accents that top each dish. A garlicky yogurt sauce, or a chimichurri, or toasted spiced nuts. 
That's the kind of thing that I don't always have time to do myself, but it really elevates a meal to something special. You can get started at snapkitchen.com and use the promo code DIVA to save $20 a week on your first four weeks. That's snapkitchen.com promo code DIVA for $80 off. And we also receive support this week from Molecule, a company that has completely reinvented the air purifier. Molecule introduces a breakthrough science that's finally capable of destroying air pollutants at a molecular level. Molecule completely destroys the full spectrum of indoor air pollutants, including those 1,000 times smaller than what a traditional air filter can catch. This is a game changer for people who suffer from asthma and allergies. One of their customers even said that she was able to breathe through her nose for the first time in 15 years. Breathing clean air can help you sleep better. And Molecule customers have reported that they have more energy now that they're getting the best sleep of their life. Plus, with a streamlined filter subscription that brings those replacement filters right to your door when you need them, Molecule ensures breathing clean air is as easy and seamless. For $75 off your first order, visit Molecule.com and enter that code DIVA at checkout. That's M-O-L-E-K-U-L-E dot com and the code DIVA at checkout. So the research on tart cherries does show that consuming the juice delivers some benefits, but I noticed that virtually all of the studies compared the cherry juice or the concentrate to a placebo with a similar amount of sugar. They didn't compare cherry juice to any other fruit and vegetable juices. And that might be because a lot of this research into the health benefits of cherries was funded by agricultural commissions in cherry growing states. Now, that doesn't mean that the research findings aren't valid, but for me, the design of the studies leaves an important unanswered question. Are tart cherries more beneficial than any other antioxidant-rich fruit or vegetable? The average American takes in about 12 milligrams of anthocyanins per day, but keep in mind that only about 1 in 10 Americans is getting the recommended servings of fruits and vegetables each day. Now, a cup of tart cherry juice might provide about 60 milligrams of anthocyanins, but so would eating the recommended amount of fruits and vegetables. In terms of reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, I suspect that whatever benefits you get from tart cherries would be available from other anthocyanin-rich fruits and vegetables as well. And there is some research to bear this out. High fruit and vegetable intake is, in fact, linked with a reduced inflammation and oxidative stress and reduced arthritis pain. Much is made of the anthocyanin content of cherries, but when it comes to milligrams per serving, cherries aren't even in the top 10 sources. And eating a variety of plant foods, rather than concentrating on one superfood, is going to give you a much wider array of nutrients and phytochemicals, and it's also a lot more interesting. And finally, Although a juice or concentrate or a powder might offer a more concentrated dose of these antioxidants, more is not always better. Not only that, but when you rely on a juice or a powder to get your plant nutrition, you're missing out on the many benefits of consuming the whole fruits and vegetables. Whole fruits and vegetables are much more filling than juice or powder, in part because of the fiber, but also due to the physical action of chewing them and the time that it takes to consume them. In my experience, when people start eating more whole fruits and vegetables, they tend to have less room on their plates and in their stomachs for junk food and empty calories. Now, there's one thing that cherries have that does set them apart from other fruits and vegetables— Cherries are one of the richest plant sources of the antioxidant melatonin. Now, you know that word. Melatonin is also produced by the pineal gland, and it's responsible for, among other things, regulating our circadian rhythms. However, the few small studies that have looked at the effects of cherry juice concentrate or powders on sleep quality produced only modest or negligible benefits. So here's the quick and dirty on tart cherry juice. If you like the flavor of cherries or cherry juice, they certainly offer plenty of good antioxidant nutrition, but to avoid loading up with too much sugar, I suggest limiting your consumption of fruit to two to four servings a day, including a maximum of one half cup of fruit juice. My favorite way to enjoy tart cherry juice is to add a splash to a glass of sparkling water. 
If it's the anti-inflammatory and the antioxidant benefits that interest you, there's no need to limit yourself to cherries. Play the field. And the best way to ensure a healthy dose of plant nutrition is not to pop a pill or to swig a juice, but to focus on getting those five servings of vegetables a day in addition to whatever fruit you enjoy. And if you're looking for an easy way to get more vegetables, you're going to love this tip from Hungry Girl Lisa Lillian. Take it away, Lisa. Hey, Nutrition Diva listeners. Making noodles out of vegetables is really, really easy. And you save so many calories and it's so healthy. So today I'm telling you how to make zoodles out of zucchini. Do you have a spiralizer? If not, you can easily pick one up, just a little handheld dealio for like less than 10 bucks at most supermarkets. So just hold the stem of your zucchini and feed it into the spiralizer and then rotate it to churn out the zoodles. It's kind of like a little pencil sharpener. And if your noodles are too long, just give them a chop. But if you don't have a spiralizer, you don't need one. If you're resistant to getting one, you can just use a peeler. So take your peeler and peel your zucchini into thin strips. It'll be a little bit more like fettuccine than spaghetti, but it is still great. Now that you have your zoodles, you're going to need to know what to do with them. So for tons of great veggie noodle recipes, check out hungry-girl.com or look at my latest cookbook, Hungry Girl Simply Six. Thanks, Lisa. I personally am a big fan of the zoodle. You can use them pretty much any way you use regular pasta. And Lisa's got a ton of great recipes in her new book, Simply Six. So be sure to check that out, as well as Lisa's podcast, Chew the Right Thing. You'll find a transcript of today's show along with the entire Nutrition Diva archives at quickanddirtytips.com. And in the transcript, I have links to a lot of the research that I mentioned today. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, and on my blog at nutritionovereasy.com, where I also share my favorite recipes. I'm going to be back next week with an episode on how probiotic foods and supplements affect our immune system, especially those who may have weakened immunity. So don't miss that. Our show is produced by Nathan Sems, edited by Karen Hertzberg. Our team at Macmillan Audio is headed up by Kathy Doyle and also includes Morgan Ratner, Michelle Margulis, Emily Miller, and Mikaela Prell. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great week. Hey.